I came across another challenge for this project. This project I shared it from the previous video. If you are interested to see the video, check it out in the link at the top right corner or in the description section. I was sharing my process to create this construction floor plan drawing. Make sure to check it out. Um, so the challenge on today's video is to consolidate the information I received from the other party. I mentioned this project is a collaboration and so it's critical to come up with measures or ways to share the information amongst each other. So let's see how I deal with this challenge to come up with the best way to do the consolidation process in Archicad efficiently. Yeah, let's see how to bring in the information we just received from another practice for the process of consolidating um, our project. We are trying to avoid discrepancies um, to the site. That's the reason why we are doing this process because when you are working with uh, or when you are working in collaboration, you would try by all means to make sure you avoid discrepancies for, for the project, keep the project intact and um, provide good measures on how you're going to um, share the information amongst each other. So to do that, let's go to file. Under file, there are different options here to load the information from the other party. So we have interoperability where we can merge the file. So we receive this information as a DWG format, an AutoCAD format. So the problem with using this option it's going to bring you unnecessary information that comes with the AutoCAD file or the drawing information like the layers. It will bring all the layers that comes or that define the drawing. So we don't want, we don't want to um, populate our layer systems with foreign layers that will mess up the whole system of our project. We're trying to leave it intact and we're going to avoid this method. So if you go to external content, there is um, different options here. We have the XRF, XRF format or XRF process where if you've used AutoCAD before, you would understand what XRF, how it's operate. It's exact the same to ArchiCAD. So it's also an interesting operation to uh, load external information but the most important one that we're going to use in this case is the place external drawing if we click on place external drawing it will lead you to the uh, dwg file that we want to bring or the reference material that we want to load it with but uh, under file types uh, you can define whatever um, format you've received. So in this case, I'll just say available all types so that it can just pick anything that comes across. So I have this drawing. Let's click on it and open. So this window will pop out for the drawing unit. So in this case, I'm using millimeters. So I, I would rather leave it the way it is. But if you are using a different units, you can click on this options and choose here. Then you can hit OK, please. Graphically, your cursor will be defined like that. So you can click on the space to place the content. So once the content has been placed, so if you select the content, you see it's more like a one, um, a one file that is um, on one layer. So in this case, we're using this Z general layers to place reference uh, materials. So it's just a one file and it doesn't add up to our layer system, of which is an important thing to have. And it's easy for us to manage this file. I like when it came as an individual pieces. So it will be very uh, difficult for us. And it will also populate the polygons and increase the size of our file. We are trying by all means to use best practices to keep our file small um, or medium. So we will try by all means to do that so once you have placed the drawing um what you want to do is uh, as you can see um the most em emphasis is going to be on the ground because in the previous video we're doing we're producing the construction um 
floor plan for the for the ground for the ground floor sorry and uh, if you look at it came up on a scale of 1 is to 75 but here we are working on a scale of 1 is to 1 in Akike so we need to uh, scale this uh, down to achieve um, or to be accurate to the scale that we are using here so to do that you can hit control K you can hit control K to bring in the resize command or escape if you go to edit and under reshape you can find uh, the resize uh, tool here and then under the resize um, window it will have um, the resize if affix so in this case you do have your walls your library pass blah 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 but in this case we don't have such information here it's just a, a 2d drawing so we'll leave it the way it is and then hit ok then we're going to use this um, 5790 as a reference so i'm going to pick this area i would remain wait for the cursor to highlight the intersection or the point then that's when i'll click on it and then from here i'll move to the next point just like that and then click so the input that i'm going to type in is going to be 5790 so 5790 then hit ok now if you measure by hitting um m on your keyboard if you hit m on keyboard you can activate the measure tool and you can now see it's corresponding with the the measurement it's 5790 of which is perfect now let's bring it to our file so i'm going to use this point to superimpose it to our model so i'm going to control d in the keyboard to drag or to activate drag and then select the point and then i'm going to go to the model and then i'm going to place it here from there this point this wall has to be in line with this wall like that clearly you could tell now there's a lot of discrepancies i can see this wall is off a bit this side and then let's see the garage wall also you can see some variations there so these are things that we need to tie in and get our model accurate as much as we can as you can see yeah i think that's uh, this exercise was very important it was worthy uh doing because clearly you can tell there will be a huge problem at site if you continue without doing without consolidating these drawings yeah so i would start from here and then what i'll do let me lock this drawing so that wherever i move things it doesn't affect the drawing i would go open the layer settings by hitting ctrl l in your keyboard and then the layer that um just assigned the reference file which is uh which is this one i'm going to lock it this is general i'm going to lock it so that whatever changes that i'm doing is not affecting the uh, the reference drawing so and then from here i'll select this line and the grid move it to there oh. same applies to that then hit i control i in your keyboard to join i'm oh, sorry i've picked the wrong hit the wall and this wall hit control i sorry shift i or we'll just use a fillet or intersect like so i don't know what is this oh this is the needs to be also there perfect and then let's go all the way and try fix that so another point if you want to have a 
contrast between the reference drawing and your model you can use the graphic override style so i have graphic override style that is coming from our uh, newly uh, created template that is yet to be published so i'll just go to here under graphic then let's import those uh, styles i'll click on import and then uh, let's locate it on the folder sorry override styles i'll just select all of them there we go we have three of them there let's hit ok and then i'm going to select the one for we have this one and uh colored one perfect i think the colored one will bring a lot of um contrast so that we can see what we're doing so the black and white material is the reference and then the colored is our model so let's move in there let's fill it this if you want this um, styles graphic override styles i'll put the link in the description so you can go and um, download and then let me not focus on the zones i'll just focus on the walls first and then i'll come and adjust because whatever changes that we are doing is going to affect the zones as well or the room level so i'll just do that i think this wall is fine no it's not let's move it uh, i guess yeah let me go through this whole process because it's boring I don't want to bore you with this information, so I would show the result once it's done. Thank you. Yeah, I've managed to achieve and complete this task and I've achieved fantastic results. So what I'll do, let's right click and hide um, the, the layer for the reference material to see and then let's set the combination to um solid hash yes as you can see i've achieved like i said fantastic results and it was worthy i took around um one hour 30 minutes to put everything in place and yes i've saved this one hour saved a lot of uh, thousands of, of dollars or thousands of not if millions because once the mistake is or the problem is arising on the site it's you're gonna save it with uh well the solution comes a lot of cost so it's better we take everything from from the beginning at an early stage and rectify all the issues that might arise it's good to anticipate problems before they they arise so yes as you can see the results everything it's great okay Thank you guys for tuning in. I think I'll see you in the next um, episodes for this uh, project. So, because I'm, I'm yet to produce the full set of construction drawings for this project. This was just meant for the activities for the foundations and footing, custom concrete to progress at site. But once I'm done with this, I'll be moving on to the next stage of producing some details, um, doing part walls, uh, roof details, and so forth. So I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for tuning in. Bye-bye.